going to be an opportunity for me to practice imperfection and vulnerability. <laughs> I am new to the clean energy space. Any other newbies here new to clean energy, looking to get into clean energy? I am four months in. Um, at Ohm Connect, we are committed to meeting our clean energy goals by making demand response accessible, easy, rewarding, and fun for consumers. But before I get into the fun part, let me give you a quick primer on what demand response is about. So what you see here is our KISO uh, net demand on the grid. So the dark blue line represents the total demand that was generated for grid scale energy in California that day. October 26th was actually at the tail end of a heat wave. So it went pretty high. And then the green line is actually the net demand, which reflects our use of variable non-renewable energy. And that's what's called the duck curve for those that are new. So that duck curve, you see the far end is a tail. Then you've got the belly of the duck when solar picks up. Then you've got a steep neck and the head. And then the beak is where wind is coming in. So as we increase the amount of uh, renewable energy on the grid, it gets into more of the shape of a duck. And it's super exciting that we're relying more on solar and wind. However, it does create some challenges as well on those inflection points in terms of the belly of the duck where we may need curtailment and the neck where we now need steep ramp up. Demand response is a tool that you can use on the grid to balance the grid. Traditionally, it's most used for peak demand. So you can kind of think about it like when on the airline, with the airlines, if a flight is overbooked, the airlines will offer passengers money to take a later flight. And similarly, it's traditionally used within the capacity markets to offer large scale companies as well as consumers money to agree to not use energy during peak days. It's sort of like the summer savings and the flex alerts. However, demand response can also be applied to the ramp up that we need to face. And in some markets, like in Arizona, they're already testing reverse demand response, where people will be paid to use energy in the middle of the day to avoid curtailing solar. At the national level, there's also some tailwinds for demand response. FERC Order 745, which the Supreme Court upheld in 2016, stipulates that demand response providers need to be paid for that demand response, just like energy providers in the grid. So basically, there is a source of revenue tied to demand response, and it's not just limited to those hot summer days. Now, for consumers in the past, you had limited options to be able to use demand response, basically through those utility programs. But are the founders at Ohm Connect, who had backgrounds in energy markets and consumer digital behavior, recognized that there was an opportunity to allow users to tap into that? So Ohm Connect is doing for energy what Airbnb did for users that allows users to monetize their home when they're not using it. And we're doing it by making it easy, rewarding, and fun. So we start with a simple core loop. Basically, what we allow anyone in California who has smart meter data access or whose energy is provided via smart meters, they can participate in Ohm Connect and, and sell their energy back into the grid. It's a simple three-step process. Ohm Connect is, man, is monitoring the energy markets and looking for opportunities when there's time to save. We alert our users in advance, generally a full day in advance, to let them know that an Ohm hour is coming up. During that Ohm hour, they'll reduce their usage by unplugging key appliances, switching off the lights. Some will go as far as turning their circuit breaker off to maximize their reductions. We, in turn, are monitoring their smart meter data. So we can see what their behavior was in advance of the event, see how much they reduced during that time, and then we will credit them for that saving. And that's what we're selling back into the grid. So users are given points for their reductions, which they can immediately cash out via PayPal. So it's a simple core loop, and we dispatch frequently to get people to start understanding how to do this and make this a regular practice. We make it easy to follow by not showing them tons of data. Although we at Ohm Connect really love data, 
we know that most users don't like having a lot of data. So we limit what we show. And we also make it easy for them to succeed by allowing them to connect their smart devices to Ohm Connect. So by connecting your Nest thermostat or your Ecobee thermostat and putting major appliances onto a TP-Link smart uh, plug, we can actually automate your reductions for you. So our users don't even have to remember to shut things off in order to participate in Ohm Connect and drive energy savings. Another way we're driving consistent energy savings is how we reward our customers. Last spring, we introduced the concept of streaks, which basically gives you an additional bonus for every consecutive ohm hour in which you save. So the people who are, as long as you save consistently and you don't opt out, you'll get a growing reward. And our users are incredibly proud of their streaks and do a lot to protect them. We also give people different status levels based on the depth of their reductions. So the more you reduce on average, the higher status level is. So both these status levels and streaks makes it fun and competitive for users. Now when Ohm Connect was first launched, our founders were worried that it would be seen as a hardship that you have to reduce your energy during that time. But we're finding is our, that a lot of our users really enjoy it. They really enjoy that opportunity to unplug and have fun, and they're telling us about it um, th through multiple different channels. So we've been encouraging them to use Instagram and Facebook to post about what they're doing during their own hours, which is building a sense of community and also growing our community as more people learn about Ohm Connect. Seeing that we can make this social, we've been investing in ways to make this more fun for our users and get to know more users within the community. We recognize that a lot of the people who are drawn to Ohm Connect are looking to actually not just take that money back, but potentially donate that, whether to a clean energy or environmental cause, or to schools or other nonprofits. So we enable people to build and join teams where they're collectively donating their points to a common cause. Additionally, one of the things that we've learned from the digital wellness space is that when you're starting up with something new, it really helps to have an accountability partner. So we've just released a buddy program where people will team up with another new user and look to save together in the same events. So when they both save, they'll be subject to additional points that they'll gain. And that's a way to build um, those good habits as well. We also have a forum where users talk about how they're saving energy and what they're doing collectively and learning how to um, better, better uh, perform during their own hours. So there's just a few ways that we're making demand response fun. If you'd like to learn more about how it works or join us, please visit us at ohmconnect.com. And you can come chat with me or Alyssa and Lillian, who are both here as well, um, during one of the breaks if you want to learn more. Thank you. <laughs>